Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is what I packed for a training day. So I'm going to tag um, Tambourine Equestrian Group and they have a show jumping training day on and you can hire out their cross country course. So I'm going to be taking Steve. So this is what I'm going to be packing for the training day tomorrow. see how dirty they are. These are um, Premier Equine tall boots from the Trotter at Corumban um, from Kelty and I really love them. They're like super comfy in that. So, hi darling. This is my dog. <laughs> stands here with me. He's like, what are you doing? So inquisitive. Um, so yeah, for show jumping, we're gonna either do a 60, 60, 70, because it's like three rounds for $20 or something. So we're gonna do three rounds. So we're either gonna do a 60, 60, 70, and just see, because it's our first like comp sort of thing. <laughs> With it. <laughs> Sorry, that's my And um, yeah, we're just gonna see how he goes in the first round. So we're either gonna do a 60, 60, 70, a 60, 70, 70, or a 60, 70, 80, just depending on how he goes. Some 80s with him, hopefully. Look at that, that looks so good. Alrighty, now look at the difference. That is so good. Packing this hay bag and a hay net and a hay bucket just so he has plenty of hay. Um, take but I need that for this afternoon when I feed him so I'll just leave that until later. Um, my helmet. So my helmet I have a Dublin rose gold. It's a really nice helmet. I really love it and I've got my gloves in there too. So my safety vest. Dublin. I have a lot of Dublin gear, just informing you. I love Dublin probably too much. Um, so yeah, my Dublin vest, I'll take that for out on cross country. In here is just like all my extra eventing stuff. So 
tape the boots, I'll need my armband. So I'm just grabbing that out now and doing that onto my vest. Um, so it's just my medical one. So if I like need something out on the cross country course or something, then they can like help me or whatever. His halter, obviously. Um, his bridle. I'm gonna clean it. Let's do that now. And his breastplate. That's all cleaned. Bridle, breastplate. I'll need it as well. I currently don't use um, a martingale on him, so it's just a five point breastplate just to hold the saddle and if I need something to hold on to, because sometimes he can jump me out of the saddle a little bit <laughs> when he is feeling extra. super duper excited especially for the cross country because he doesn't quite like um colored like poles or fill so i think he's going to be so much better with just like the plain color jumps like you do for cross country which is why the show jumping is really important for us it's really hard to see it's a wintech pro jump yeah, Wintech Pro Jump. I bought it second hand off my friend. I'm just gonna do some of these marks now that are just from like mud and that. I'm contemplating taking my um, GoPro out. Like I really want to, but it's his first time. So I'm like, eh. I don't know, because there could be like some hiccups and spills and stuff, so I don't know if it would be like worth charging it all up for if he's just going to be a bit of a shit, which he's not, he's a really good boy, but you guys know what I mean, horses are horses and they will be horses when they want to, and if they don't want to do something, they won't want to do something, take a bit of convincing. Okay, so that is all cleaned. In here are my jumping boots, brand new from Carol. Um, they're just the stud ones, they're really good, brand new. So I got the front, and the back ones are studs as well. So they're really good, they're really good quality. I want cross country boots. Uh, I kind of want to clean them, but I kind of don't. No, but anyway, they're just the PEI brushing boots. I don't actually have the full cross country boots because I'm not that rich. Anyways, I have bigger fronts, smaller backs, some um, scallop bell boots. I use them training every day. I need to find a black pair of these or something. I was going to use my white ones, which I do have up there, but. Uh, so they can go in there, I'll take that, that. All right, next, I have these. They're just like brushing boots. They're just sheepskin ones. I actually use them for float boots for him because um, with normal float boots, his legs get really sweaty and because it's such a long, it's like an hour and a bit drive from my house, um, these are really good. So I just use the brushing boots on him. So he has the fronts and the backs. I'm also going to take my PEI Premier Equine cold water boots so um, after probably show jumping when I change to all my um, cross country gear I'll put these on for 20 minutes and just cool his legs down and then we'll go again and then after cross country put them back on so his legs stay nice and cool. I'm taking six pairs of boots and I love it because I love boots. Alrighty. Um, my crop, just normal jumping crop. Um, washing stuff, so just I have sponges, scraper, a white for his face, and a little washing basket. Um, 
also taking with me my Equine Treats AU treats, which are the little donuts. Things you can see, like that one there. They are the Hunts and Coke treats that I got. This little bag, it's my first aid bag. So it just has like bandage and creams and antiseptic and stuff. Just like if he hurts himself on the float ride or something or needs something while we're there, then I have it there ready. And in case of something, um, I'm going to white saddle pad. I'll be riding him on my white saddle pad. Um, just my normal show one. Um, I think that's everything I need. And then, big water container. It's like a 25 liter one, I think. And um, this is Steve's one. And then I'm also taking Tico's one, which I think is about a 20 liter. Ah, there's a wasp in here. Frick. Go away. Thank you. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm taking Tico's one as well, which I think is a 20 liter one, which is in the back of my mom's car now. And um, that, so we don't have to try and haul water because that's like the worst. And then, water bucket, just a normal bucket, and then I just put all this stuff inside of here. I can't believe how many pairs of boots I'm taking. My mum's going to be like, do you need all those boots? Yes, mum, I do need all those boots. Um... And then I'll go inside and I'll show you what I'm wearing because I'll be changing my out outfit. Do you call it an outfit? Outfit for um, cross country. Or oh, I always take um, I always take a spare lead rope because I like double tying my horses to the float, make sure they won't go anywhere. So this one's just a normal lead rope. So I'll take that with me. So then I think that's everything I need. I am taking so I'm taking all of this stuff and my saddle girth and saddle pad and then just my halter, bridle and breastplate. Plus all that stuff. Um Okay, I'm gonna take my number holder because I'm not sure if they're gonna give us numbers. I'm pretty sure they're not, but I'm just gonna take it in case because like we might need it. Um, socks, dolphin socks, they're just long socks. Um, then I'm going to wear my um, Peter Williams white jods. They're just normal jods. Um, so just so I look nice and clean and stuff and then I will be wearing my the trot up um Huntington lace shirt so the sleeves are actually lace which I really love because I really love lace and then it's like really nice collar and it's really light material and it's got lace bits at the bottom but that's going to be tucked in so I'll be wearing that for show jumping so with my um white jods and then my black boots and then I'm going to change into for cross country just this um, like half cut tee. So it's just a longer sort of t shirt. It's just like a dark navy, which I mean, it'll look black out, of course, anyway. So it's just a nice shirt, still going with my white, um, my white jods and my black boots. And then he'll have his white. Um, saddle pad on to match so we'll be looking all nice and smart so um i think that's everything i had to pack and then i'll just pack some snacks and stuff and then i'll also be vlogging tomorrow when we get there and some behind the scenes stuff of us like loading up and um filling up water and maybe even walking my course I might even do a little bit of that and how I count distances and stuff I might even film that 
um, just some little behind the scenes stuff. And me tacking up maybe. Um, yeah, so all I have to do is pack snacks and then pack the car this afternoon with my mum, which I don't know if I probably won't film that, but at least you know why I'm, um, the stuff I'm packing and why I'm packing it. Um, you can also comment below like different suggestions you want so different videos you want or if you're just happy with me doing training days and clinics and comps and stuff or um whatever whenever i do whatever i'll be posting so i'll ha hopefully have this one up by this tonight this afternoon by the time i um edit it and stuff and then um tomorrow after i'm finished training day and show jumping rounds i'll do a big edit of that one and i'll hopefully have that one up tomorrow as well so please like subscribe comment turn on your notifications um if you do subscribe let me know and i'll go and like spam you and give you a shout out on my account so thank you guys bye